1 Thessalonians 5 and 3 For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That historic storm and life-threatening deep freeze blanketing much of the country as millions hit the road for the holidays. Blizzard and blinding, whiteout conditions making for dangerous travel, snow and bitter cold in Buffalo, New York, paralyzing that city. In Queens, heavy rain and flooding, stranding drivers trapped in their cars requiring rescues. Heavy rain and gusty winds creating a storm surge in coastal communities up the northeast all the way to Maine. Snow, ice and freezing rain causing thousands of accidents accidents nationwide. 50 cars were involved in this deadly pileup on the Ohio Turnpike. Police dash cam video captured this transformer exploding in Liberty, Missouri. Temperatures dipping for two thirds of the country now. Many places feeling a 30 degree plunge in just 24 hours. Nashville dropping to below zero for the first time in more than 25 years. More than 5,000 flights canceled, leaving millions of travelers stranded at airports just two days before Christmas. We've got team coverage tonight. Elwin Lopez and Rob Marciano standing by. But first, ABC's Trevor All leading us off in New York. Tonight, this historic winter storm creating life-threatening weather conditions coast to coast. 205 million Americans under weather alerts facing an avalanche of issues. Heavy snow, high winds, coastal flooding, and significantly sub-zero temperatures. It just stings the eyes. You feel like you immediately have icicles on your eyelashes. On the Ohio Turnpike, this 50-car pileup, at least one person killed. Feet of snow falling in western New York, while in New York City, heavy rain and storm surge turning roads into rivers. First responders rescuing stranded drivers. Holy cow, I can't even describe it. It's like floodwaters. Power outages impacting 23 states and more than one and a half million customers. It was very scary out there on my way to work with trees down. Police dash cam video showing a transformer exploding in Liberty, Missouri. New Hampshire calling in power crews from Canada to help restore electricity. Tennessee officials ordering rolling blackouts to ease the load. This vicious cold arriving like a freight train. This is in real time. In Oklahoma, this tap water turning immediately to ice. Amarillo, Texas, plunging 33 degrees in just an hour. Cheyenne, Wyoming, 43 degrees, the fastest one hour drop in city history. And now NYC is in the storm's icy grip. It was 58 this morning in Manhattan. We've fallen 37 degrees and overnight it could get as low as five. The state's governor declaring a state of emergency. Major highways shut down for 150 miles. Wind chills are going to be absolutely bone chilling. That's why this is a life threatening event. That's what we're bracing for. Trevor All joining us now. And Trevor, as temperatures plunge overnight, a new warning from officials in the Northeast. Yeah, Whit, officials are very concerned about flash freezing. It could be very dangerous conditions on the road. Not to mention, we could have 60 mile an hour wind gusts through tomorrow, and that could mean even more power outages overnight and into Christmas Eve, Whit. Really incredible. Trevor, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stefan. Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yerushalam coming back at you with another video. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Raka Kodash. The name of this video is Who Can Stand His Freezing Cold? Dark Winter. Alright. And this is the freezing cold of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. That's what you just, you just witnessed. Alright. Place being a mess. Alright. Coastal floods, storm surge, accidents, you know, some golf flash freezing. Alright. Just when they thought everything was okay. And all things were going okay, you know, after the um the Crown Vic Royal. Alright. You know, and the and, and you know people dropping from that. People still dropping from the um the shot, the jump the the, 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 the jump shots. Alright, you know. You know, then you have bad weather, you have freezing weather. Alright, which happened quickly, right? First Thessalonians 5 and 3 For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them 
and travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape so it comes suddenly same way this this um weather came suddenly they said um i believe in some states you know in the united states you know the weather the the the, the, the temperature dropped 30 degrees in 24 hours i believe our record it was a record for 43 degrees in in, in actually one hour in one state all right and all this is what the work of your abashim is book of prophecy okay and all these are signs of the end okay so let's get let's bring in a few precepts here um, let's start with luke luke 21 verse 25 right it says it reads and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring right strange seas strange tides you know um excessive amount of snow temperature dropping suddenly right verse 26 men's hearts feeling them for fear all right people are going to be dropping and this is just the start all right this is just the start and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and you know all these things for all these things you know they've been sent you know as scourges the scripture say all right these all these things are sent for us what let me see if i can get up scourges scourges for amen amen meant because why for the wickedness of this place wickedness of babylon the great all right let's get let's get up second Ezra 16 all right second Ezra 16 and verse 19 it says behold famine plague you know all this bad weather uh, like a plague tribulation right tribulation and anguish pain a lot of people in pain they didn't have any electricity right flights were candle cancelled millions were stranded okay right i sent as scourges for amendment all right let's get the word scourge scourge a whip used as an instrument of punishment so Elijah the lord putting um a whip on this place a whip on babylon with a whip on china and Tobago, or jamaica or all these places an affliction a curse a plague see evil all right so the lord is the one sending these things here but he sent them what for people to repent but for all that as the scriptures say verse 20 second Ezra 16 and 20 but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges yet yeah, enough they're going to be thinking that peace coming along come along you know somewhere after this you know and everything will be good everything going to go back to normal so-called normal but it's not this is prophecy second Ezra 9 and 1 he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself when thou seest part of the signs past which i told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world right which we have in earthquakes too a lot of them did not report in then shalt thou well understand that the most high of Speak of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is in the, made in the world had a beginning and an end, the end is manifest, is made clear. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Right? So these effects and signs, you know, are sign that, you know, of the end, you know, these, these are um, signs and effects. You know basically bring misery all right misery on the people of you right because of their wickedness because they have dwelt in iniquity second as verse 8 verse 50 it says for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride and we know that pride was before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall scripture say that all right and this is why you know more so now you separate yourself from this world from babylon great from all the wickedness all right because you know it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a serious time a, a time of misery all right we're gonna send serious plagues on babylon the great 
then going to then you go into second Ezra, see fifteen chapter. It talks about the plagues that are gonna be sent on Egypt. That's not that's not ancient Egypt, that's modern day Egypt, which is America. Alright. And the Lord has his eye on this place for evil, not good. Alright, so you better repent, get yourself right, now we'll have the time. Uh let's let's get another some of our precepts here. Amos nine verse eight. Right, it reads Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So the Lord, he's the master of gradualism. Yeah, he's gradually taking them out. Right? Gradually destroying um, Babylon the Great. Can't, he, he, he won't do it suddenly, because you know, they have the elect still, still there. You know? All the elect are not sealed yet. All right? so the end ain't coming yet. But, it's, but you know, you know these plagues, you know, they they're like um, a woman's contractions who are about to give birth, right? It's coming hotter and hotter every time, you know, until the the end comes, until the Lord comes. Yeah, we're shy. All right, now let's get let's get Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter eighteen, verse twenty. Right, it reads, the soul that sinneth it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him right because you know you get punished for your own wickedness all right you can in the in the reincarnation all right that's basically it um but if if the wicked turn from all his sins that they are committing and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live he shall not die so if you repent you're not going to die, right? Verse 22, all these transgressions that he had committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him. In his righteousness that he had done, he shall live. Right? He shall live. So this is what the Lord had been saying. Right? But, you know, two-thirds, it's not given on them to repent anyway. So we, we ain't dealing with them. This is Isaiah 13, verse 9. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with, with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate and this is what was going on in this video here you look at this video all right tonight this historic winter storm creating life-threatening weather conditions coast to coast 205 million americans under weather alerts facing an avalanche of issues all right an avalanche of issues land being made desolate all right that's what happened that's what's going on to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So the Lord eh, doesn't want to destroy the elect. He will choose the ones to destroy the sinners. Right, they being they being taken out. They being destroyed. And he's the one sending this storm. You know how we know that? We filter through the scriptures. Let's get some precepts. This is how we know that this Lord is the one doing this. First of all, the Lord is one who um who kills and makes alive. Let me get that precept first. Alright. First Samuel 2 and 6. I believe so. Yeah. First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. So the Lord is the one who kills, makes alive. The Lord is the one who who causes the snow to come on one earth. Alright. Yeah. Who can we stand that cold? This is um, Job 37, verse 6. For he said to the snow, Be thou on the earth. Right. So the Lord is the one who says, Hey, you actually snow to fall on you right we know that's a, that's a snowstorm right so the lord send that snowstorm likewise to the small rain and to the great rain and the strength all right um to see set up the hand of every man that all men may know his work then the beasts go into the dens and remain in their places out of out of the south come at the whirlwind and cool out of the north right the stormy wind by the breath of the heavenly father frost is given Right, and the breath of the waters is streaming. So when these um when there was a sudden drop in temperature and all this wind chill factor you know would increase. Alright, it was the Lord's breath. Alright, he's the one who doing it, you know, he's the one who dropped the temperature by 30, 30, 33 degrees in twenty four hours, you know, by forty three degrees in one hour. Which is pretty amazing. Alright, so that, that there are videos you know going around where a guy um boils some water, you know, and threw it outside. Boiling hot water, you know, before it hit the ground and turn into ice. Okay? 
that's how that's just how cool it was. People died, you know, in the cars. There are some jakes. You know, we saw a jake woman I heard of, you know, she died in traffic. You know, because you know, it, it stands still traffic in a storm. Alright, you know, maybe the car sometimes the cars can run out of gas. You know, the heat and not working hot enough to keep you alive. Freeze to death. Alright. Verse 10. Joke 37 and 10. By the breath of the Heavenly Father, frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straightened, right? You know, made, made, made um, freezing, right? Also, by watering, he wear it, he wear it a thick cloud, he scattered his bright cloud, and it is turned round about by his counsels, right? The counsels, the angels, right? The angels. You get the counsel of the Lord. In the book of Revelation, Revelation, the fifth, fourth, fourth chapter, talk about the counsel of the Heavenly Father, the angels, right? In, in, in the lots, in, in, in the different um, levels, right? That they may do whatsoever He commanded them upon the face of the world, right? So these angels, they, they don't transgress the word of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, they do everything that He say, all right? You know, they, they do everything that He say. Let me, let me get, um, Let's get Psalms, Psalm 147, verse 15. Yeah, he sendeth forth his commandment upon earth, right, to the angels. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool, he scattered the whole frost like ashes. All right. He casteth forth his eyes like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? Who can stand before his cold? All right, nobody. All right. He sent out his wood and melted them, causing this wind to blow and the waters flow. The Lord is the one who does all these things. Right? Psalm 148 and 4. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of Yahweh, for he commanded and they were created. He also he had also established them forever and ever, and made a decree which shall, shall not pass. Praise ye Yahweh from the earth, ye dragons and all the deeps, fire and hail snow and vapor stormy wind fulfilling his word because all these things are spirits right and these same spirits were created for vengeance all right and this is why this is why all this is happening all right the lord has his spirits created for vengeance ready on earth when time is, is ready is be for them all right it's a time for everything under the sun time of destruction of this kingdom this wicked kingdom is started. This is Ecclesiasticus of Sirach 39 and 26. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, right? So you don't use water against you. Water, ice is water, right? Fire, iron, salt, flour, wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. All these things are good to the godly. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. When you drink water every day, you put ice in your drinks, all right? Then these same things are even used to take your life if you're wicked. Alright? Verse 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail, hail, right? Hail falling from the sky. And famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Verse 31, they shall rejoice in his commandments. And they shall be ready on earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. So there have different spirits, principalities and powers, you know, that, that, you know, that the Lord, is, Lord commands. Alright? Because, because of the wickedness of Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is full of wickedness. Alright? Of all the pagan holidays, you know, this, this thing, this one happened before the wicked pagan holiday called Christmas. Which is a blasphemy of the hour shy. Alright? The son of the Lord, who wasn't born on December the 25th, right? He was born around the time of the Passover, right? They worship in Tammuz, right? Son of Nimrod, right? And all the other witchcraft that goes along with it, you know, all the other um, filthy holidays, for the filthiness of this place, you know, they, they, they all they, they rainbowism, the freaky fairies, the bestiality, the adultery, you know, they, they steal any lands. Blood and the blood, you know, the land was built on blood. You know, everything that the wicked, you know, does under the sun. You know, 
and that's the reason why this strange weather, strange calamity come upon them. And this is all, it's all the work of the Lord. It's all the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You see on scripture, Sirach 43, verse 13. By his commandment, he make the snow to fall apace. Right, face is swiftly, quickly, and this is how it happened. It came down quickly. And sending, send that swiftly the lightnings of his judgment. So this is judgment. Spirits who created for what judgment? Alright. Through this the treasures are open, the clouds fly forth as fowls. By his great power he maketh the clouds firm and the hailstones are broken small. At his sight the mountains are shaken, at his will the south wind blew it. The noise of the thunder maketh the earth to tremble, so doth the northern storm. And the whirlwind, as birds flying, he scattered the snow, and the falling down thereof is as the lighting of grasshoppers. The eye marveleth at the beauty of the witness thereof, the whiteness thereof, and the heart is astonished at the reading of it. Yeah, this people, other people were astonished. The hoarfrost also are sought, he poured on the earth, and being congealed, it lieth on the top of sharp stakes, high mountains. You know? When the cold north wind bloweth, and the waters congealed into ice, it abideth upon every gathering together of water. Included the water as with a breastplate, right? And this is this is this is what the Lord, all the Lord's doing. The Lord is the one who sends the storms, right? Who send up, sends the um, tempest, whirlwind, right? All this destruction is created by Yahweh Shem Yahshai. See, twenty-eight and two. Behold, the Lord had a mighty and strong one, which has a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down the earth with the hand, right? With his power. Right? With his power. Isaiah 29 and 6. And this is Lord, the Lord is just doing this. The Lord is, 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 is really executing a mighty work. You know? He's really executing a mighty work. You know, look, look at that. I mean, crazy. Coastal flood, storm surge, 50 pile smash-ups, you know, millions stranded, you know, power outages. You know, deaths like hell, highway, whole highway shut down. Right? You want to play with your Abashim Yahushai? Right? See, so at 29 and 6, thou shalt be visited of your Hawa Abashim Yahushai, of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, which is going to come upon this wicked place. It's going to come eventually. Alright? It's going to come. Let's get one more precept. Close this out. Back and we go here. Sirach 40 and verse 5. It says what? Wrath and envy, trouble and unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife. In the time of rest upon his bed, his night sleep to change his knowledge. You know? And this is wicked, right? A little or nothing is his rest. And afterward he is in his sleep as in a day of keeping watch. Trouble in the vision of his heart. We don't get twisted. A lot of these these, these heathen and these jakes, these wicked jakes out there, they get the visions of the end, and it's troubling them, right? As if he were escaped out of a battle. When all is safe, he awakened and marvelled that the fear was nothing, right? You thinking that hey, everything is everything. You going back to peace? No. Whatever what you're dreaming is going to come to life, right? Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Right? Sevenfold. Lord will terrorize you in your dreams. Verse 9. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities like, like what's going on in the States. Famine, tribulation and scourge. These things were created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. Alright? So with that, a hey, understand that hey, this 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 was going on not by chance you know repent you know the lord is going to take you out some more this coming the greatest lesson was that he find that the world praises on and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect till next time shalom